Hello, citizens of the internet, and welcome to the Dad's Guide to Minecraft, Create Above and Beyond. Well, today we have a simple uh, episode going on, and that is to make a crushing wheel or crushing wheels because uh, we need to kind of up our game a little bit here, and we're going to need crushing wheels for the next phase of Create Above and Beyond. Um, I thought we'd also start building a secondary factory that Dewey and I can share that will automate some of the simpler andesite building uh, processes, uh, like building gear shifts automatically and uh, cogwheels automatically. Uh, that way we can take advantage of it and uh, share that little uh, resource and, you know, uh, just make our lives a little bit more automated and simple. So if that sounds like a plan, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is come over to here and um, our precision making process is going just smashingly. We have um, 18 stacks plus 22. That is pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grab some out of there. Let's see if I hold down. Is it shift? Yeah, shift gets a whole stack at a time. We're going to need a bunch of these. So we'll just grab. Let's see. Oh, that's all we could hold. Put a one back in there. Okay. And we need our brass casings, which I think might be over here. I have kind of a mess going on. We we need also a place to really centralize and store all of our goodies. Um, nope, not there. I, I did have a chest there. I must have moved it. Uh, we actually need, uh, for a crushing wheel, seven of the brass machines because each one makes three of the auto crafters, our mechanical crafters, and we need 21 total. So... We're just going to give ourselves a little bit of a surplus there and we'll put the rest of our, we want to put in there. Let's see. Not any room in there. So let's go up to the next one right here. Got some spare filters for our clay. We'll be able to make that process a lot easier too. We won't need to do the uh, sediment strainers to get clay any longer. Uh, we can use crushing wheels for that. Okay. So we need to make first crafting tables. So we're going to go ahead and just make um, as many of these as we can there. So we got seven and seven because we'll need seven of those. And we'll come over to the smithing table right here. It's the brass machine with the uh, crafting table. It gives you the mechanical crafters. So we've got those. I think what we're going to need is a couple of hoppers. So what I'll do is I'll come over here and quickly make a couple of hoppers for us because uh, we'll have an automatic feeding system so we can feed stuff in there as well. So up here on top of this hill, and if we go to the mini map really quick here, we can see um, kind of where things are. There's our base right there. Uh, Dewey's base is right here. And so we're gonna turn this area uh, right in this spot right here. This is going to be where we're gonna do most of our uh, factory build and I think launch site for the rocket and everything like that. So. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, start putting a kind of automated factory right here. Uh, Dewey left the little block for us to where he wanted it to kind of be placed. And I started gathering some materials uh, for the build right here as well. Um, so we'll put it right here. Uh, so I think what I'll do is actually put the crushing wheel uh, right over here for now. And I could put it actually in this Gabbro section here. It's kind of a neat little round building. Kind of clear this away just a little bit here and we can kind of finish this off a little bit uh, just have a little space for a uh, nice mechanical crafter thing that's making our grinding wheels or our crushing wheels so let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and clear this space really quick here and i will um start yeah just getting this whole thing set up so we can uh put down the mechanical crafters Okay, and here we are. This is just the little structure that I built. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I thought. I always, when I free build these things, uh, end up tearing them down and rebuilding them and trying different things. But I'm going to put some more decorations around here, close off these walls with them. Um, I'm thinking maybe uh, fences don't connect. So I'm thinking actually we use the uh, fence gates here on each one of those to connect around. Uh, I'm not sure glass would look good. So I think we'll try that in a second, but I, I went ahead and I made, I'll show you this real quick here. This is the power source down here. Uh, I have the um, five water wheels spinning with a soul sand behind it. And then the power is being transferred and brought up on both sides here. 
like that. So we can uh, have a machine over on this side and a machine over on this side. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put the mechanical crafter on this side over here. And I'm wondering if the way that we want to do this is, I think if we put it back here, that would probably look the best. So we could have this come up and then have um, something spinning it below, maybe right here. So if we do, let's see if we can do this. I think if we take this one out and these mud bricks, I'll tell you, they take a long time to break with anything other than a shovel. So let's go ahead and grab that. I think if we do a uh, vertical gearbox here like this facing this direction and we do a, a small wheel like this right here or cog wheel like that we should be able to put the mechanical craft on top of this and that'll power the entire thing um, but let's give it a shot so if we do and it's like we do three along the bottom yep it's working like that okay and then we do five on this next level like this and this will let me know how big we need to make the roof too i think we're we're going to be okay with the size uh do i have any building materials okay i'll use the cobblestone for right now just to get up here put the dirt away clear inventory space so we're going to come across like this and then one more that's and then three like this perfect okay that is a big big build nice okay so as you can see on the mechanical crafters they have these arrows and that's going to show you where everything is going to go down now the other thing we can do too is if we right click on the joints right here we can get rid of them so that is how we're going to make this so we have just two like chests that we drop stuff into materials and we can output a a uh, crushing wheel down here in the corner um maybe this front corner actually i think this might be a good one to do so if we do a chest do the chest right here like that and will that work i don't think that'll work because we're gonna actually have it come down to this one here Unless we have it come out this one right here. Maybe we can do that. We'll, tr we'll try this first and see if this works. So we'll have a hopper coming down into this one right here. Like that. Okay. Now let's get rid of some of these walls that are between. And I think, can I do it from the front or does it have to be in the back? I think it has to be in the back. So let's get around the back here. I might have to tear some of this down since I built it right up against it. Uh, or maybe not. So yeah, we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to kind of trace along the outside. So, okay, there we are. I took care of uh, just clearing that out. So we did, we actually did that one back right there. And we get rid of these. And these in the middle we open up because it's like a plus sign in the middle. This is where the sticks are going to go in here. And the outside around here is where the cobblestone is going to go. So we just get rid of all of these connectors like this. There we go. Perfect. So sticks in the middle, cobblestones on the outside. And what we'll do is we'll put a hopper with a chest uh, that goes into each one of these bigger sections. And we'll just keep on putting the materials in those and that'll fill these up and uh, we don't have to worry about it. So, okay, now that I have that done, uh, let's go on the inside again here. And we just need to make sure that everything is kind of going in the right direction with these things. So. I think what we'll do is we'll kind of work over this way and we'll combine everything right here maybe is the step that I want to do that in. Or maybe we can even do it right here. You can see if it'll go into the hopper this direction. Well, I don't know if it will actually. Hmm. It might have to be this one. So let's go ahead and uh, turn that one down there. We want that one to go there like that. And can we go up? Yep. So we're going to actually push everything into this corner. We're going to push this one out here. This one out here. Like that. There we go. Okay, so right now it looks like everything is going. So everything is kind of coming in the middle here for the sticks. Pushing the sticks out here and it should combine with the stone 
it looks like it's all going in the right direction around here. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're going to put a hopper and we can put the hopper going into this one. Um, I think we can just do it off the front here like this. And then we'll do another one right here like this. And we'll put the chest down. Just an aisle. Oh. My chest got sucked up into the top up here. Need to get all of them down. There we go. Okay. All right. So we need a crouch click. <laughs> Just remember, crouch click. That's our friend. So let's get back up here again with our little pillar of stone. There. And we will crouch click down on the top of these. We don't run into that same problem again. There we go. Okay. And let's see if this works. You know, it's always kind of a, an experiment when we first get in here. So we're just going to drop uh, all the cobblestone in here and make sure it goes around the right way. Okay, that's filling the area correctly. Okay, perfect. And then we'll drop our sticks in here, which we have tons of. And is it working? All right, it's moving. Very slowly. I may want to like increase the speed with a rotational speed controller. But, you know, for this, it doesn't matter too much. Um, this isn't going to be the machine that we're going to be using for the overall process uh, for the um, the next step of the create mod. So uh, let's see here. And it's going down in here. Let's see. Yep, crushing wheels. Perfect. So that is working. No problem at all. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the crushing wheels that we're making and we're going to make a crushing setup over here so we can get um, just some better, I guess, ore returns or, or better rates on our ore smelting. Uh, but let's go ahead and set that up. And um, then I think we'll call this an end to the day's episode. Uh, it's always something, isn't it? Usually it's uh, for me gearboxes. That's why we're going to automate them. Yay. All right. So what I did is I put a rotational speed controller hooked up. Um, and I have it set, it's kind of hard to see down here, to 60 right now. We'll see how that works. But with the andesite, um, or the gearboxes on both sides like this, we should get opposite rotational spin on both the wheels. We may have to make this a negative. Uh, that's why another reason why I put the rotational speed controller down there, so we could change the directions of the wheels if we wanted to. So I think what we want to do is we want this to come up. Uh, let's have it come up um, probably just one maybe two uh, let's see here so we want to have actually starting with the end in mind is probably a good idea so we're going to want to have a chest and a hopper down here so we'll put the chest right here this will be the output chest and we'll put the hopper coming in right here so i guess the wheels don't need to be that high i could actually push this back one and that might look better Let's do that. Let's go ahead and take you out here. You out there. And we'll put the chest on top of this gearbox like that. And we'll put the hopper pointing down into it like this. There we go. Okay. And then I think if we have the crushing wheels sitting on top of this. So we need two more of the vertical gearboxes, which would be, let's see, we got two more right here. Pop those up. We're going to have them face this direction so we'll pop one right there and we'll pop one right here after we get another shaft coming down that's okay and those might be spinning the right direction let's see so if we put these on e yes right that one's spinning this direction that one's spinning that direction that should work i believe now the problem I have right now is uh, I need to get up here and not fall into it because that'll crush me to death if I do that. Um, and we're going to put a chute with another chest above it so that'll be our input area. Okay, so let's go ahead and pillar up with our, well, wood this time. There we go. Okay, so we're going to want to put a chute down here. Okay. Do that okay right all right and then a chest do i have a chest i don't have a chest okay uh i'm gonna go make a chest and then i'll be right back okay here we are 
chest on top of there. All right, that should work. Hopefully. Okay, now we just need something to throw in here to give it a test. Um, so we got a piece of cobble so we could throw in there. So let's put it in here. And like that, we have gravel. Uh, that happens so fast. <laughs> okay, well that's working fine. So I can actually close this up there. All right. Um, and nothing is too stressed out. It's not overstressed. Perfect. Now what we can always do is we can add a um, a lava generator or a cobblestone generator over here, um, or even on top of this if we wanted to, and we could make a washing station uh, below this, and we could get our iron this way. But we, I think for right now, I'm just gonna use this as kind of just a workstation for us near here so we can create sand if we need to or do something else, um, but yeah. Okay, before we close the episode, I'm gonna show you one other little cool design here, and this is for like an enclosed uh, area so we can do the uh, smelting washing and um, cooking on a station here and it requires just a couple materials so we have magma blocks down there that we're gonna go ahead and grab these out right here and I'm doing this right next to the water wheel because we're gonna have it come up inside of the structure right in the other side here uh, and this was the only spot for it but essentially all you need is you need magma cubes down on the bottom like this then on top of the magma cubes, you have encased fans facing down into them. So remember, if they're not facing down, you use your wrench and you can just click it until the air is facing down. And uh, this will give them the uh, power that is going to actually make this whole system work. So we have the encased fans like that. And then right on top of these encased fans, we put a second set of encased fans facing up, just like that. Then we need to give these guys power, so we're going to have these flipped switches here. But in the meantime, we're just going to put some dirt down like that. And we'll come around to the other side here so we can see what's going on. Um, yeah, we'll have to go around the front. Not a problem. Okay, so we can look down. And then on the middle one right here, we want a campfire because the campfire will separate the water and the lava so we don't have any issues. So we put the campfire down right there like that. And then we can put, uh, let's do water on this side right here. That. And then we're going to put lava on the lava bucket out here. This side right here. And then on top of each one of these, we're going to put a depot. So we got our depots here. Um, I actually need that water bucket. There we go, okay. Depot, 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 just like that. Okay, and let me go ahead and go flip these on. Here we go, so doop, doop, doop. Go up here and just double check, make sure everything's working before we close that all back up again. A lot of running back and forth, That's that's what this is about. Okay, so we should be able to get uh, things cooking here. So let's go ahead and take some cobblestone and just try it out. Right there. That should turn it into smooth stone. Everything's working properly. There we go. Perfect. And if we come over here and we grab the gravel out, we can do a washing over here. Let's just wash that real quick. Make sure that's working. Well, it, it did. It just didn't give us anything <laughs> because there's a percentage chance that it won't give you anything at all, right? It just kind of, uh, let's, <laughs> that was very anticlimactic. Let's go ahead and try that one again. Um, let's do, let's see, what can we wash? What can we wash? Oh, we could wash, um, we need to turn this into uh, smooth first, and then we can send it through the crushing wheel. And if we wash that, we should get, this turns into sand, and there's a chance that we could get from that uh, bushes, or uh, we could also get um, gold from it as well. So let's go ahead and try that. And this is granite, by the way. Forgot to mention that. Okay. Throw it in up here. Okay. That was pretty quick. Let's wait for it to get all the way full here. Everything, nice. Okay, and let's go ahead and wash it and see what happens. Nice, we got gold and sticks. All right, how much did we go? We got two sticks and 15 gold nuggets. That's not too bad, huh? 
yeah, I think that's a cool little just space saving design right there. It doesn't take a ton of resources and you're able to uh, cook food. Uh, you can uh, smelt things and you can wash things all in a little station just like that. Really compact. Uh, but this is a pretty good setup, and I think that is going to do it for today. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen and like to see more from the Dad's Guide in the future, uh, you know what to do. Click that like button, smash that subscribe button, and press that notification bell. Next time, I think we're going to go ahead and start building the factory right outside here. Now that we have um, these things going right near the base, I think I might move a couple of the other tool sets up here, like uh, maybe some of the... Um, the press and whatnot. So if I need anything while I'm building, I can go ahead and grab those. Uh, but otherwise, I think we are go for factory number one for the joint Dewey and Dad base. But until next time, this has been Dad's Guide. Bye for now.